to our very next topic. But our very next topic is let's let's we already kind of segued ourselves into it. Let's go ahead and talk about Star Girl. So we got a new trailer for Star Girl. It dropped a very quick tease for Star Girl uh, season two. We gotta take a look at that beforehand. Uh, BC, you had a chance to look at the Star Girl trailer. What are your thoughts on that so far? So I've really enjoyed Star Girl. I think Star Girl is one of the the better uh, products that that they've put out um, lately. Uh, as far as DC television shows on the CW. Now, Stargirl was definitely uh, a different type of show because you would see it on, it started out on DC Universe and the CW. Uh, where It came out, you know, along the time when Titans started and you're thinking, okay, DC Universe is putting out their own shows, but then Stargirl was able to swap over between both. It was on CW, it was on DC Universe, and it definitely of the Arrowverse shows was given the most amount of money. Mm. Um, and you can tell in the budget that the budget is better in their show. And it's really an enjoyable show. I really do love watching this. This has been one of my more favorite ones to watch and I'm excited to see them come back. I'm excited that we're going to get more into uh, Joe McHale's uh, Starman character. We're going to get to see him a little bit more. And I love that we're going to be teaming back up with uh, Cindy Berman because Meg, Meg DeLacy, I think her name is, uh, she is really good in this role. She plays this anti-hero now, but when she was just more of a villain early on was really like visceral and entertaining to see her uh, playing that role. So I'm excited to see what they have going on more with them in DC star girl. And if they sell the CW, um, I think this and Superman might be one of the only two that really survive, uh, a move to, uh, HBO max. Right. And, and, and that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I saw the star girl trailer. I did not watch the first season of star girl. Um, partly because I was very confused about where it was coming. Cause I had the DC universe app back whenever that was a thing. Um, and then, I, didn't I, I I I didn't I don't I stopped watching the CW after uh what they did with the Flash um on that show. So I haven't had a chance to check that out yet. I was under the impression that Star Girl was going to be coming to HBO Max. So the selling of the CW property, if they do do that, it makes total sense. You move Superman and Lois over to Star uh, and Star Girl over to HBO Max. You just have all of your shows on HBO Max. Um, yeah, it, I don't know why they're not. Yeah, it, it, it that totally makes that would make the most sense to me if they were to do that. I'm loving HBO Max. Um, it's one of my favorite subscription services so far. I get most of my content from HBO Max, so I would love to see everything over there anyway. Get off of the CW. The CW has their kinds of shows, and to be completely honest, the fans. I don't think the fans anymore appreciate how CW handles the DC shows with the exception of Superman and Lois, and now you're saying Stargirl. So you're the first person to actually recommend Stargirl to me, so I will check that out. Um, but it is pretty interesting, especially because a little bit to kind of piggyback off of Joe McHale a little bit, uh, transitioning just a little bit, Joe McHale recently just kind of said yesterday that there's a possibility that him and his community co-stars may be teaming up again for a community movie. So... I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Joel McHale in this community movie. I mean, I, I love him in that show. So I do appreciate him. And I, and I heard he's good. In because there was, there was, a, there was a gag on the, uh, uh, on the community show about that, right? That, that, yeah. that, that kind of led to the possibility of there being this movie. Yes. So in the community show, and I know you guys, some of, the, some of my fans out there are, some of our fans are community fans. The whole gag about it since they started the first season was six seasons in a movie. Six seasons in a movie. It's very meta. And they did their sixth season, and now we're waiting for the movie ever since the show was canceled back in 2017, 2018. Um, and it shifted over to, to Yahoo and stuff. They've always been talking about this community movie. And so yeah. Joe McHale recently just announced that, hey, they're getting closer to doing this movie. Uh, now with the streaming services taking off the way that they are, everyone's getting a spinoff at this point. Right? Oh, yeah. Everyone's oh, yeah. getting a spinoff. Everyone is getting a reboot. We're going to talk about a reboot probably next, right? That <laughs> exactly. Talk about. And it's all because of these streaming services. 
So yeah, let's get that community movie. Uh, community movie. We all know why it's taking so long. It's because of how successful Donald Glover has gotten. Childish Gambino, right? Between Atlanta, uh-huh. uh, playing Lando Calrissian, and there's still a Lando show on his uh, on his radar that he's supposed to be doing. So I would definitely love to see this community movie. I definitely want to see Joel McHale and Stargirl since you recommended it to me. Um, but that's pretty much all I got on this matter. BC, what is your thoughts about, uh, do you have anything else to add on this matter? Uh, so apparently, you know, Stargirl will air on the CW and then the next day be available on HBO Max. So that's what I just kind of looked up. If I'm not, if I'm not reading that wrong, that's kind of what I'm seeing there. So like the reverse, so, so that kind of like the Hulu model. Back when exactly, exactly. You'll be able to watch it day one on CW and then next day on HBO Max, which I think is, you know, a smart move That's either smart way. Move. That's a smart play, but it all roads lead to HBO ult- Max. ultimately it's HBO Max. Um, yes. I think that's the proper way to do it. They get better budgets, and, they, and it just seems to be most shows on HBO Max are just better constructed mm-hmm. uh, in its entirety. And HBO originals just hit it out the ballpark. So, guys, that's our thoughts on the Stargirl uh, show. Do you guys have any thoughts on Stargirl? Have you guys seen the first season? What are your thoughts about it and the, second, uh, and the new trailer that came out? We would love to hear your thoughts on that as we move on to our very next topic. 